Hello audience, Suchud here. I am doing a playthrough of the game, YS Origins, if you couldn't tell. I got pretty far into the game and then accidentally saved over my file, so I you know what, I'll just record from the beginning. Um, I will be doing a full playthrough, so including dialogue, so if you don't like sitting through long dialogue sessions, I don't suggest watching this. If you do though, however, um, I suggest you watch this game. Um, at the start, you can only pick two characters and you can unlock a third, not that I know who it is. Since I haven't beaten the game yet, because I got stuck. Um, not much I can tell you about this game. Just watch this and it explains it all. I do like the cutscenes though. The cutscenes are amazing. Sur l'intervention des dias jumelles et des six saints, les grands pays prospèrent. Les dias avaient un trésor précieux, la perle noire. Elle avait des sortes de pouvoirs mystérieux. Avec la magie, on pouvait faire des miracles. Avec l'éclairia, on pouvait amplifier ses pouvoirs magiques. Grâce à elle, on croyait que le pouvoir de Is durerait une éternité. Mais soudain, on I'm gonna um. I forgot to say this, but during the cutscenes, if you haven't noticed, I'm not going to talk at all. La fin du monde. C'est alors la perle noire qui sauva Is de la ruine. Car elle souleva les temples dans les airs. Mais, aussitôt après ces soulagements fugitifs, les démons ont construit une autre tour. Et une nuée de monstres a eu son parti. En direction du sanctuaire, Is menacé de tomber. Pire encore, un événement imprévu arriva dans le temple de Salomon. Quelle histoire! Les dias jumelles, les descendants de Is ont tous disparu. Dans une situation désespérée, Les six ans ont pris une résolution pour constituer une équipe de recherche et ils ont organisé une sélection parmi des chevaliers et des sorciers. The whole enfin, les ans, the whole first part of the game is basically one big movie. It's when the action actually starts that there's less dialogue once you actually start. Because the whole game takes place in a tower, as they explained. Um, once you actually get into the tower, there is not much dialogue at all. It is mainly just fighting and more fighting. A lot more fighting. But the whole beginning game is just one big movie. It's one big huge movie. It's an amazing movie though. I guess I could talk through this because there's no one. This is like basically explaining everything that happened at the reason. Um, backstory of some of the characters. That's who I picked to play. That's the other guy you can play. 
can't say I remember who that is. You learn who the one... No? Maybe, I don't remember. I think you learn who they are later on. At least I know I'm pretty sure I remember one of them. Those are the bad guys from what I've been able to tell so far. And that's the end, basically. That that's the beginning of the game. Now this is multiple large amount of dialogue and then they're fighting. I'll just get through the dialogue and I'll start all the fighting and the next episode most likely. So I'll just no it's well I don't know. This is the main character, the the girl that I picked to play as this is her dog. I can tell you this much though. I suggest if you ever play this game use a controller. I don't know how well the mouse and um keyboard gameplay is. I didn't try it. I specifically played this with my controller because controller is so much better just amazingly I am actually reading this as well as you probably are too actually you know what there's um kind of a funny story behind this. If you play as the other character, he lands at the younger brother, that's what the other tree is called, and I thought that was pretty interesting, because, I don't know, I just thought it was interesting. Throughout the entire game, depending on who, which character you pick, they mention the other characters, like the two characters you can play. If you're playing as this person, they always mention the mage that you can play as. If you're playing as the mage, they always mention this person. Um, the big font is the tree talking if you haven't figured it out.
Sorry if I'm not talking as much as you people wish to, it's just when I read dialogue, I don't really talk. Oh, at, right after this they show, I'm pretty sure they show another cutscene. Another lovely, lovely cutscene. And cutscene. Very evil looking tower, is it not? Probably my favorite fighting style wise in one of my favorite games. Early on this early on game it's actually really easy. It's the freaking bosses that I can't stand. Man, those the the rage you will hear coming from me at boss fights. Oh. Thank you. 
The crystal basically allows you to teleport. That will be the end of the first episode. Oh. 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 <laughs> what? 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 What?
What? Oh my! You don't understand how me happy just seeing. Okay, so the other day I was playing on this character right here, right? And I accidentally saved over it. I didn't know that was there though. Holy crap! That that makes my day. Holy my god! Yeah, there's 64 sla s slaves. Slave 64 slaves, guys. Anyway. I'm going to save, yeah, and um, that's the end of the first episode, um, join in the next episode and you'll actually see all the fighting.